Yeah, guys, that's just threatening behaviour itself. And as we're here talking, you all right? Look at them bikes, guys. Look at that. But that one's not back. Welcome back to another video. Ryan is back on a rampage. And uh, today, I'm just walking across the bridge to uh, what you possibly can see in the background just here, HMP Doncaster. Um, run by Serco in this prison. Um, I said I was going to do a couple more prisons. So here I am. <coughs> and yeah, let's see what happens in this one. HMP Doncaster. Now here guys, there's reason, uh, reason to believe that there's a couple of stories I'm talking about today. Uh, from a couple of places I got these stories as well. I got one of them sent to me uh, by uh, someone from a mainstream article. But obviously we don't listen to mainstream, so I looked into it a bit deeper. Um, and a woman was found to be having sexual relations with uh, inmates and managed to escape jail herself. She managed to escape jail herself, um, which, you know, is wrong, guys. And here as well, there is uh, a nurse that was trying, that was smuggling in over five hundred thousand pounds worth of drugs into the prison. Now, I've just found this out as well over the last couple of days. Um, the both these stories, um, and as soon as you arrive here, I mean, guys, look, let's take a look. Smuggling contraband, great news. Your lifts arrived. With the old school police, you know what I mean? I'm like, but then you have people that work here. You know, they're doing worse than you. I mean, people that work here sm smuggled in over 500,000 pounds worth of drugs. Smuggling contraband, helping dad out. Me and our new childminder. That's just threatening in behaviour itself. Yeah, guys, that's just threatening behaviour itself. And as we're here talking, you all right? Look at them bikes, guys. Look at that. But well, that one's not tagged up. Huh? You're not filming the prisoner or anything, are you? Uh, I am indeed, yes. Why? So, quite an interest in prisons. Probably her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where are you from? You're local. <laughs> I'm not local, no. You've not really got an interest in prisons, have you? I have. I go all over the country. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you come out of that, that goal? No, I haven't come out of a car, no. Oh, right. Are you from Manchester? No. No, it's just like Manchester United. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a fan of Manchester United, but I'm not from Manchester. So, uh, yeah. You sound more local to me. Sound more local? I've been all over, mate. I've, I have actually lived all over the country. Really? Yeah, I've lived all over the country. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've got an accent from all over, mate. So, a lot of people say I'm more like Midlands, sort of Leicester oh, way. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did live in Leicester for a while, but I don't live there anymore, so. How come you're a Rolling Stone then? Have you got no family band or? Oh, I've got family all over. I've got family in Leicester, um, yeah. family on the East Coast, family on the uh, North side, you know. You've never been inside one of these places, have you? Inside a prison? I've been inside a prison, yeah. What, do you look around or? No, no, I was, I was, I was jailed in a prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Never mind. How you doing? Not visiting anyone? No, no. Just a just a general in interest interest in prisons. Yeah, no problem. You, you can feel me, I don't mind that. You just put your phone down a bit because it's like between your face and my face, <laughs> I can't even see your face. Oh that's alright. Yeah, no worries. Okay then. So 
you're just filming this prison for a, a look at it and that's it and then you're going to be on your way is it or yeah yeah pretty much i'm just gonna take a walk walk up and down and then yeah that's it yeah really okay nothing else to it how, how did you guys like hear about this me did you sign up just for me no well, no we've been going around the prison all day you go around the prison on these things all day that's your job a good part of the day so it's, uh, it's just what we do from time to time how come is that well, you got some dodgy people on here on outside prisons don't you <laughs> well I wouldn't, I wouldn't say dodgy well i'm not, not necessarily classing you in that class but yeah, of course you do don't you yeah well yeah you can do people visiting people and stuff yeah i yeah. suppose but yeah, yeah i never i never knew like police rode dirt bikes like this that's right i so never knew that electrical one as well is it electric as well yeah awesome man. Oh, awesome. But I heard that one zoom off then. I thought it sounded weird, but... Yeah, yeah, no engines. You don't know much about bikes, do you? I know a little bit about bikes, but up up, and you get from like a 90cc to a 125 and then I'm done. You get up to a 125. I know about up until 125 and then I'm done. Have you ridden one? Yeah, I used to I used to own a 125 um, yeah. back in the day, yeah, yeah. That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right, it's electric, this one. Electric. I was just saying to him, yeah. But he doesn't know much about bikes, he doesn't. No, no, no. I didn't realise this, this sort of big bulky style could be electric. Yeah, that's what I thought, to be honest. When I seen you come past, I thought quite it was quiet. Yeah. They go along all right. They go aren't they? Right, but, so. There they go. What, did they do, like, 40, 50 or something? Oh, 85. 85? Oh, well, obviously, I don't do those speeds because it would be illegal, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> So, but they'll do 70. I bet it's dangerous, 85, isn't it? They're comfortable at 70. What, they're like off, off, off road? All right, yeah? Yeah, they're, um, they're okay. But did you patrol around prison much? Sorry? Did you patrol around this prison much? From time to time. Do you know roughly what time people get like that? Or is it just... You'd be best asking them in there, After mate. Each, she said up to 12 o'clock. Are you waiting to pick someone up? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be a long little wait, 12 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> At neat. Uh. You come from far? Not far-ish, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And they're due out today? Yeah, due out today. It's a waiting game, isn't it? They said round one o'clock. Not only... him, is it? No, no. I've only been here like <laughs> I've only been here an hour, like. But yeah, yeah. Imagine I just got out of prison and I start filming it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> is it going on YouTube then, bud? Yeah, it'll be going on YouTube. Are you yeah. on YouTube? Are you... What's your YouTube name? Uh, Ryan Rampage. Ryan Rampage. Yeah. Right, you're awesome. rampaging in Doncaster today, aren't you? Ryan? I'll be rampaging all over Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm travelling the country today. I just stopped off at Doncaster. Obviously, it's not that far from the train station. Where are you going you next see, time? so. Um, I don't know, wherever my feet take me. I'll go, I'll go to the train station, I'll go, I'll catch that one. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's what I do. Uh, Rampage. Um, and what, what do you normally film, Ray, and what type of stuff? Um, police, uh, prisons, police, um, COVID testing sites, uh, COVID vaccination centres. Really? Yeah. Do you, do you get many people subscribing to your channel? Um, over 3,000, yeah. Really? Because I yeah. wouldn't... Over 3,000... 3, I, I don't think I'd be really interested in a video on... COVID, well, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people say that now, but you think ten years down the line, when COVID's not a thing, yeah, everyone's gonna be like, "What's happened?" You know, these ten-year-olds coming about go, "What actually happened when I was when I was a bane in arms?" Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're gonna go look on YouTube, aren't they? Because YouTube's, gonna, I reckon YouTube's gonna be around for a while. It's gonna take over oh, mainstream, yeah, I think. Yeah, but you know, so they're gonna be looking up. Oh, what's going on? What was going on in the world back in that day? Yeah. And then obviously they're gonna discover channels like mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. And I'll be an old man by then, but I'll still be getting views on my YouTube, but just sighted in COVID sites. And you know, so this is the first police officer you've ever spoken to who's on an electric motorcycle. Yes, this one is, yeah. How do you get on with police then, generally? Uh, generally, I'm all right if they're all right with me. Yeah. You know, I know the law sometimes better than some coppers. You think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah. I mean, I've had officers come up to me and say I can't film in certain places, and I turn around and go, Section 33, the criminal justice act 1972. And they look at me like, what's that? Like if you were in an airport though, it might be a different matter. Oh yeah, it's, it is a different matter, but there's still ways and means of going about it. And some people don't even know, like the security of an airport won't yeah. know how to go about it, yeah. um, about somebody filming, you know. So how do you rate your interaction with South Yorkshire police today then? Um, I'd say, I'd say nine out of 10. Oh, you're a top man, I like you. <laughs> Graham Rampage, I'll look you up later, mate. Yes, definitely.
these people in here might wonder why you're working around with a camera so yeah. i'll explain to them what you're doing is that okay? yeah, yeah if they come out to me i'll explain full full well what i'm doing like yeah. i explained to you oh, and okay. then that's it yeah 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 i don't know about access and egress in that direction for you um sure. i don't know i, I could always a public footpath at this end but I, I can always go in and ask and that's just, the best way to yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be the best way for you Ask, ask if I can take a walk round the prison and have a look at the whole wall round it because yeah. even that's interesting yeah, it all to looks people. the same to me, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's not day, mate, but there you go. Anyway, Ryan, that's your proper name, is it? Yes. Have a good day. And you, buddy. See you later, buddy. See you later, mate. So there we are, guys. Lovely interaction there. Spot on. Yeah. Are you going to go and speak with him, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, what. That's, yeah, yeah, that's all I was coming here to do. Yeah. I was just going to mention it. Yeah, yeah, no problem, mate. Sir. Ryan. Yes. Mask on. You're going in there. I'm exempt, buddy. I'm exempt. Your yeah. yeah. Um, I don't carry the exemption card. Yeah. I don't bother. I, I normally end up losing it. I've had three now, so. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But I've had three of them, and I just, right. I ain't getting another one. Third choice. Yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Sir. You're right there. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Could I just ask a quick question? You can ask. Yes. Is it okay if I walk around the outside of the wall of the prison? Depends whereabouts you're walking. It's literally going to be on the footpath. It's going to be walking round, and then that's it. On this, right up against the wall. No, I don't. As long as the wherever the footpath is, I'll be walking along the footpath. Ends down there and it goes onto grass. So right. there's no footpath around the wall. The, 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 the concrete path is where the vehicles drive. Right, okay. So you might get run over if you want to walk on there. That's entirely your prerogative, but you're not supposed to. Okay. Well, no one's going to come out and start having a go at me if I do do that, though, are they? Well, I believe you're not supposed to be on there. It's obviously for the vehicles. Yeah, it's all right. I'll mind myself for the vehicles. That's all right. As long as it's all right with you, I just thought I'd come and let you know what I'm doing, that's all. Right, okay. okay. So is that is that against the law, is it? I don't know. That's, you're asking me a question, I don't want you to get run over. There you go, that's your answer. Right, Thank okay. You. Okay, thank you. So there we are guys. In other words, she said I could walk across this path that's down here. Um and then once it gets round there. There's a concrete path where vehicles drive. So, you know, concrete path where vehicles drive, fair enough. Um, but am I stupid enough to get myself run over? Shall we go find out? <laughs> and guys, as soon as I leave the office and start walking down, literally you can see that the office is just there. I've not been walking for long. I've been walking for 30 seconds a minute as I was speaking to you. Um, and she's on the phone with somebody already. So I don't know whether them officers are going to come back and try and trespass me, but she didn't say that it's private property. She didn't give me all the malarkey I normally get. Um, so I am going to take full faith in that and walk around um, and just have a look at the prison um, itself. So, you know, guys, anything happens, I will update you guys. Um, and we'll see how this one We'll see how this one turns out. We shall see how this one turns out. Concrete path she was on about, guys. Where the footpath stops. See if I ask this, this warden about this side. See what she says about this side. Again, contraband. Excuse me, love. 
There's a lot of signs saying about bringing smuggling in contraband, right? But in HMP Doncaster in the last year, there's been two people that's done that. I don't know. Mom. You don't know, but they managed to. They always managed to escape jail. No. Are you smuggling in contraband? No. Oh well, that's a typical answer, isn't it? Typical answer, guys. Typical answer. We'll have a walk back up now. Staff Fitness Centre, just there. A circo, guys. But not all of them look that fit. That makes me a bit worried. Do they actually have a fitness level at all? Ugh. Who knows? Who knows? So guys, that's HMP Doncaster, ran by Serco. Flags flying high, so there's been no uh, suicides in the prison recently. So guys, that was HMP Doncaster, uh, just there. Um, good interaction with the police, although now it comes to think about it, they're, they're securing a private, you know, it's, it's run by their own security, but yet they're driving around it. Um, he said all day, and then when I said, oh, you get to ride around here all day, then he was retracted it back to some of the day. So I don't know what the truth is there, guys, but uh, Yep, Rampage is out, on to the next one, and peace.